All right, what you see here is a Hunter Coastal Breeze ceiling fan in 52 inches. It's an antique brass finish, and I installed this. Well, I didn't install it. A friend of mine installed it. Well, I helped him install it. You know, my grandparents live here. I'm here in the Dominican Republic. It's, on, it's a dual install with the brown KDK in the dining room over there. And, um, yeah. Here it is. Well, it's very nice in the living room we have here. Looks honestly, I really like how it came out. I just threw them pretty well, and also it just, it's been interesting enough that it looks like that. It was, it's been installed in the living room for such a long time now, as a lot of the furniture in the living room is pretty old. So we changed the material on it, and there's the Hunter logo right there. This white kit, have you guys have seen in many videos before? This is the one I've been using on all of my floor testing fans. Although I brought it down here to let you know, don't need any grass when I had down here. Finding a white kit down here with a pole chain nowadays hasn't been so easy since they started to sell only the types that KDK fans would use. And if they have one, the one house version, it's always in white. So I figured I'd just bring down the one that I have instead. And this fan I do have some history with. Um, this fan was at that furniture store for about well, 20 years, actually. Maybe 20, maybe 19 years or something, but it's basically the same age as me. And so it was me in the third quarter of 1996. And yeah, I got this fan at the furniture store last year. The reason why I got it is, even though I could have, if it was just a culture breeze, if it wasn't that set amount to me, I probably wouldn't have gone if it what they were asking for, but um, they didn't overcharge too much. Like, but the reason why I bought it was for the set amount of reasons it has. And that's because this fan was actually on display ever since I was a kid. And then they took it down because nobody wanted to buy it. It was up on display for like at least a good 15 years at, at the most. And then around 2010, 2011, they took it down, and I had, and then I thought, so I thought it was sold. Turns out it was actually upstairs because nobody wanted to buy it. And um, yeah, that's basically the story of it. So I, bought, I asked the one of the workers to get asked the boss if I could buy it. They said yes, so I bought it. And now it's here. Switch housing was a bit busted when I got it, but now I fixed it up. It got fixed up somewhat. To so fix up enough that I can use it. No room for like kit. And there, here it is, it's Dwayne on. And um, yeah, I love the finish on the blades, they're very nice. The walnut. It goes very well with the wood furniture we have here, and also it matches the pole chains on this fan pretty well, also. Almost the same exact finish, so that looks. I also figured I'd get these for these, are ones that won't, I don't see wearing out too well with the ones that I have in the States. You know, I'd say, but um, yeah. Um, yeah. That's some rust on here and there, but I mean, every fiend down here is going to rust up. So here's the low speed, and I shut off the light. Low speed on it's pretty slow. Like Hunter Original Slow, so that's something I do like about it. Um, yeah, it has a, I haven't, we haven't even been using it unwell at all, to be honest. Maybe, like, just to move around air, but, like, not when we're actually are in the living room. The breeze that comes in this room is a lot, it moves more air than the uh, fan itself on low speed. I mean, it moves some air, but not enough to really use it on low speed and such. But that's, but down here, nobody would... Whatever you think about using a residential fan like this on low speed, they usually just have them on higher medium. It's kind of basically like it's almost like summertime here all year long, so it really doesn't make sense to have a fan on low. Um, yeah, it reminds me of one of them also of um one of fans like ceiling fans like this type in hotels as a kid. I used to see a lot of them four bladed ones with schoolhouse globes. Not at jet, exactly G, that one's like a lot of Octavian types. May, may have been some coastal breezes now that I think about it, but who knows. But it reminds me a lot of that, and that's the main reason why I want, want this in the living room. I've always wanted a four boy fan of Scorch Globe in this living room. But now I finally have one. One that actually moves pretty good here, too, not just a cheap one. So here's it. Here it is on most of the light. Before this, I was actually thinking about putting a. 
Hampton Bay Gazebo 2 Plus in, in here, which were being like an outdoor rated fan. The furniture fit would match pretty good with the KDK, however, it would look way too modern for this living room. So, um, yeah. We're going to start to light and move up to medium. That's a good medium speed. Not the fastest medium speed, but for, but it's, it's an appropriate medium speed, I can say that much. Sometimes we do use it on medium speed, especially if it's not too hot out. It does give a good enough breeze on medium. on medium and I will be doing a video to scan with the power generator sound as well whenever that happens this video is definitely gonna be delayed a bit as I'm uploading a ton of other videos that have been filming out in public so definitely check out those videos as well went to a lot of different places that I haven't gone to this year so I definitely took the extra step to actually go to the pages that I'm not familiar with this is film some more videos for you guys um, yeah, let me go ahead and shut off the light and show the fan on high speed. This is the speed that we use it on the most. I've actually, seen, I've actually been seeing myself hanging out in the living room a lot more now ever since this fan's been put up. Usually I can relax in the living room out of all the rooms. But it was always so hot in here, so I wouldn't want to do that. Because you, you would always feel the breeze from like the windows and such, or the doorway, but where the couches are, you wouldn't really feel the breeze all that much. So now with this fan, it'll push the breeze down itself. So that definitely helps out quite a bit. It goes a lot faster now that it's on, from when I four tested it, it definitely goes a bit faster on the high speed than it did when I four tested it. That's something I am noticing. And I do like that um, the fan pole chain is not as well as the light kit one. So that way they can tell which one is which. Now, I was thinking about sending one of my schoolhouse clothes from these states down here, the four ones. This wrapped up very carefully, but at the same time, I feel like, you know what? I'd rather just have a plain schoolhouse globe on this one. Sometimes when you put a four globe on it, it kind of takes away from the detail of the feel of how nice it looks. That is something that I've noticed. Would I like to put one on here? Definitely, but at the same time, knowing my, no, especially since I, the switch housing moves a little bit, I'd rather not put one that's would be more, that's more of a I'd rather just put a regular school on it. Okay, if it was a fall and break, it wouldn't be a big deal. And that's something that's pretty pretty easily. Floor school house school is a different story. Alright, shut it off. And let's go ahead and do a spin down. Spin down on this fan is not going to be very long because the fan hasn't really been used all that much up, up until my, ever since I got it last year. I've only used it a few times just to floor test it. So it hasn't even been up for a week yet. It's only been up for like a but a few days. Well, close to a week now, actually, now I think about it. I think we have been going out a lot, so I haven't had time to film it, but now that I'm leaving soon, I figure I'd take the time now to film it quickly. 
because there's actually power now. I don't want to. I don't want to risk not having a chance to film it before I leave. But I also want to have a video of it myself just so I can watch it. But yeah, we're definitely when I head back to the United States, I'm definitely going to miss it. But close to the, the um, passport too, and the kitchen's similar enough to it. I don't think it's the fine way to feed it instead. I know it should be longer once it gets used up more. But um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I just come to the stop. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for more videos to come.